Hello there, buenos dias, and thank you for finding me again here at my YouTube channel, Bennett All Man Beyond. I produce positive, original, and informative videos on a weekly basis about Benidorm where I live, so if you enjoy this vlog, please consider becoming a subscriber so you'll never miss any of my brand new content as I upload it in the future. Today's vlog takes you on a walk in the February sunshine along a section of the Avenida de Europa on the cusp of the Centro area in the new town. One of Benidorm's main avenues into the town, this long road stretches for nearly a kilometre from down at the beachfront and all the way up to the big roundabout that leads out of town. We start at the corner junction with Kei Ibiza, which we cross, then firstly on our left hand side we see a local tourist information kiosk which always seems to be closed when I pass this way, whether by day or night, winter or summer, which I think is a real shame. Carrying on we pass the beautifully kept gardens and grounds of the Co Blanca 22 apartment block which offers a mix of residential and holiday rental accommodation which can be found through the usual online reservation websites such as booking.com. If you'd like to support my channel and future vlogs by making a small donation, you can now buy me a coffee or even two or three. Just click on the down arrow next to the vlog title which brings you to the description of this video. Then follow the link provided at the bottom, it's really that simple. Thank you so much. Walking by the access ramp to their underground car parking area, we then reach the corner junction with Kay Lepanto, which we cross. Immediately in front of us we can now see the large pale grey building of apartment block Edificio Cervantes. Built in 1967 and then renovated in 2003, it has 312 apartments over its 14 floors. Moving on we find a small parade of businesses set back off the street and down a few steps which start with the Allo Turin estate agency. Next door are the offices of Marco Polo Expeditions, who are specialists in outdoor events and team building as well as many other activities and tours and have been in this location for many years. They can suggest a whole host of outdoor pursuits for you to try, including horse riding, jet ski rides, jeep safaris and bus trips to local cities and from their office you can also hire out mountain bikes and scooters. Continuing along downhill, we next pass the Spanish tapas bar and restaurant, Bar Europa, where you can stop for a drink and tapa, a tasty baguette, or even a plate of traditional Valencian paella. Adjacent is the large Super Tavantes supermarket, which incorporates a Dutch butcher's counter inside, and here you can also find many products from Holland, as well as all the usual items. Just tucked away through an archway down the side of the supermarket is restaurant and bar Eat Cafe Pinocchio in the gardens of the apartment block that sits above it. And some of you may remember that these premises were Monroe's Carvery many moons ago, who did a fantastic roast lunch with all the trimmings along with beautiful homemade pies. We then pass an alleyway which leads down to a cafe and a florist among other small businesses and then a row of shops which are all situated underneath the Mariscal One apartment block. These start with the Everchris store, selling a selection of clothes, souvenirs and beach items. And this abuts the bright pink Chinese massage parlour, where massages start at 30 euros for 30 minutes or 50 euros for a full hour. Next door is Solarium Benidorm, where you can top up your tan on a rainy day from 10am until 8pm, Monday to Saturday, and this abuts the Souvenirs Carmen Mini Mart. Moving on, we then see the Love Nail Beauty Salon, who offer pedicures, manicures, depilation services and massages all week from 10 until 10, And then on the corner we pass the large L-shaped terrace and premises of the Telly Pizza restaurant who offer pizzas, barbecue chicken, fries, onion rings and other fast food treats to either eat in or take away. We now reach the corner junction with Kei Girona which we cross 
where next on our right hand side we see the La Badia Benidorm pub who specialise in craft beers and have a wide choice of foreign brands available. They are owned by the four-star superior Hotel Belroy Complex, which we now walk past, who offer a choice of hotel rooms or apartments, both within the same grounds. They have an outdoor swimming pool available during the summer months, along with an indoor heated pool for the winter season, and also their own buffet restaurant and on-site Japanese restaurant, the Umai, which the public can also dine in. Built in 1972 and then renovated in 2020, the Hotel Belroy is currently ranked 50th out of 197 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK and has a customer rating of 4 out of 5, putting it in the very good category. As we approach the corner, passing a red and white Santander Bank ATM, we then reach the Belroy's own Café and Bar, the Café Paris, which anyone is welcome to use, whether a guest of the hotel or not. You can choose to sit outside on their modern terrace and soak up the sun, or inside in their attractive heated interior, where you can ogle the freshly baked cakes in the glass display counter, or just sit back and enjoy a relaxing drink or snack. Carrying on, and now all on the flat, we cross the Avenida del Mediterraneo, with its pretty blue, grey and white tiles and halo illuminations overhead, which look fantastic when lit up at night. There are lots of benches, seats and places to rest along this lovely stretch of avenue, with the trees overhead providing a little shade, although more so in the summer when they are complete with green foliage. Continuing onwards with our info walk, on the corner we next pass a branch of the Keisha Bank, who have one street facing ATM on one side of their premises, with a further three on the other side, heading down towards the beach. Panning up, we then see the rear of the four-star Hotel Thimbel, which we will arrive at shortly, and many of their rooms look directly out onto the Mediterranean Sea, giving unparalleled views all day and night. We now pass the entrance to the private parking area for apartment block Edificio Torre de Valencia and then we come to the grand entrance of the Hotel Thimbo, which was built in 1974 and then renovated in 2019. The hotel offers 150 rooms over its 13 floors and is particularly famed for its luxurious first floor rooms which come complete with sun lounges and a splash pool as well as many more contemporary and elegant touches. It has a swimming pool and pool cafe bar directly facing out to the Levante beach and live musical duos can often be found performing on their terrace. The hotel is currently ranked 51st out of 197 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK and has a guest rating of 4 out of 5, placing it in the very good category. This takes us right down to the beachfront promenade itself, where to our left the road becomes Avenida de Madrid and to our right is Avenida de Alcoy. This brings us to the end of today's vlog and I really hope that you've enjoyed this sunny and information filled walk along a section of the Avenida de Europa with me and if you have then please help me out by watching some of my other great street and beach walks, hotel reviews and lots of other content and maybe learn something new along the way too. Thanks so much for watching as always and hopefully I'll see you out and about next time. Bye for now, adios and take care of yourselves. Cheers!